had some different emotions about it. He gave LeBron's uh, performance last night a B minus. Mm -hmm. He gave him a A minus B plus. A minus. Yeah, A minus. Right. What do you think about his performance last night? If you had to grade it, I would give it a B minus because oh. you're in agreement I'm with Skip Bayless. I'm shocked by this. Yeah, I'm in agreement with Skip because. It was Why just, are you here? Why are you here today? <laughs> because I'm an expert, astute analysis. <laughs> really? really? Shut you down. Yeah, really? Yeah, yeah. really? Really? I'm, the, basket, I'm the basketball. I'm the basketball guy up here. Agreeing with Skip Bayless. Go ahead. Yeah, I, I don't use. I don't use. The floor is yours. The floor is yours. Stephen A. I don't usually Go do ahead. it, but today I'm I. Not, I am. He right. doesn't. Trust me. Because in 2007, Greg Popovich did the same thing. Okay. He closed the paint down and made everybody become jump shooters. Mm -hmm. And last night, it was just like deja vu all over again. Mm -hmm. You know, LeBron probing, probing, dishing. Guys wasn't making shots. Mm -hmm. So the triple-double is nice. I love that. But I have to give him a B-minus because he has to be more aggressive and looking to score the ball more. Right. 18 points is not enough. Stephen A., you seem to disagree. You know what? <laughs> you know, it's, 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 it's real funny. It's real funny and comical that my man is up here agreeing with Skip Bayless on this because <laughs> You see, y'all are not looking at the toe. Turn off that music, please, the highlight in my ear. Just turn it off. I'm talking. Let me be clear, okay? Here's the deal. LeBron James has 18 points, 18 rebounds, 10 assists. You bring up the fact that it's a mirror image of 2007 in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Well, again, what pieces did he have in place in Cleveland? That's what I'm saying. If you're looking at, don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking you. I'm certainly not knocking your, your teammates. We knew you, but most of y'all were no names. Let's just call it what it is. I'm not talking about you. You know who I'm talking about. Yeah. We don't need to name names, but they were no names. Now, you are in Miami. It's one thing to sit there and defer when you're LeBron James playing with the Cleveland squad. It's another thing for you to be LeBron James in the NBA Finals and your teammates are Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, Ray Allen. Mm -hmm. I mean, when you talk about guys, yes, he shut down the lane and he dared them to be perimeter shooters. Mm -hmm. Last time I checked, these are three dudes that are supposed to be able to do that. And they were actually doing it effectively for the first half. So why would LeBron James not trust them? See, my point is this. If you're going to give LeBron James a B minus, then essentially what you must do is sit there and, and give the others a pass. Because why would he deserve a B minus if you're going to hold them accountable too? It can't be both. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you shouldn't trust your teammates. Okay. I'm just saying that at the end of the game, you score eight, seven to eight points in the first eight minutes of the fourth quarter. Right. Okay. You're LeBron James. Right. My main man, family. Right. He has to go and he has to make plays. No, I know, I know going forward he has to do that. I'm saying for one game, considering what the tenor of the game was and how guys performed in the first half, why would you not trust them when they're, they're there and paid to be trusted? I mean, these are elite dudes. Well, you come off the pick and roll three or four times and you kick back to Chris Boss and he missed three or four straight shots. Okay. And what you going to do? Okay. You got you, you have to find some way to put the ball in the basket. I, I'm bottom line with you. I respect it.